Welcome to this week's episode of the Perceptive Readers, a podcast series made in the Product of Culture, aka Parkbooks website's office. Hi, I'm James. Graduation with Poetry Flair. Yes, you didn't know how intelligent you are today. Hi, I'm James Lynch, and welcome to this Park Books Update Moment. I told you a week or so ago that I would let you know when a new audiobook that I'm working on uh, would be coming out, or at least where you can read chapter by chapter, or, you know, even more. Now, I want to let you know before I tell you the spot graduation with poetry flair now that's actually one title of three i already thought of but the key is still reading further to the subtitle where it says you didn't know how intelligent you are today did you i mean i didn't say did you but you know i'm adding that now but you'll see what i'm talking about um either way why am i letting you uh read this book for several reasons uh And one of them, I want to actually read a quote that comes from BookNet. It is a fact, and it is actually applicable even today with what a lot of people are dealing with. Uh, Let me get to this uh, uh, book. Oh, isn't that something? Let me make sure, because I don't have the page open right now, and... uh, I want to make sure I don't have to go to one of my uh, drives to actually share this with you. But please bear with me. And yes, here it is. All right. Here is actually a book net quote. See, that already is giving you the platform where this will be at. I just haven't given you the name yet of my username or where the book is located. They state, and this is a quote, this is a fact. They say in 99% of the cases, a complete ebook ends up being pirated. You see, um, even the very first day of its release, I will tell you even before it's released, tell you the truth, the way things go today. Uh, and it leads to a decrease in sales and losses, both for the authors and publishers. BookNet solved this problem. So, uh, I had several other platforms that I thought about, and yet the more and more I looked at BookNet and did the research uh, like I do on everything, I said, now this will uh, suffice and work for me and for my perceptive readers, you see. I just gave you now the username where you can find me, the pseudoname that I'll be using to even reply to any comments. It's Perceptive Reader. Uh, that's what it's called. That's that's me. Okay. Um, now you can also uh, once again check back. I have a chapter at least a week, <laughs> and maybe even more sometimes. You know, and I will go up to ten chapters, if not longer, depending on the way other things outside of this, you know, are happening. Okay. Let's get right back again to the reading. You are probably saying, well, James, aren't you going to turn this into an audio book? Uh, I heard that even BookNet has this type of even reading app where, you know, uh, we can just still listen to the book being read anyway. <laughs> so, uh, so what is the excitement still, uh, for the audio book? Well, I'm going to let you know more details right now of what how this is set up one graduation time as you know is many months away so at the same time that i'm actually writing this book and putting it together that i could have it ready you know by the time the end of december if i wanted to i could probably have it ready in another two weeks but i don't want to i'm not even worried about it. i actually thought about working on another book uh, that I actually worked on over the years that I just never finished that I'm actually thinking about, you know, going ahead and releasing it, 
uh, maybe in about another week or so, you know, I thought I'd go through some proofreading. But first, I really wanted to get this set up to let you know. And you know, you know, when I say that I'm 99% sure that, hey, this thing would be knocked out of the park. You know, I know what I'm talking about. So with that being said, even though you could actually listen to the book with their plug in or whatever that they have, you know, read to you or something. Hey, that's fine. I'm just letting you know when it does go into audio book form and any person that, uh, you know, I happen to pick or what have you that, that would be joining in. <laughs> with me, so to speak. And I already told you on the other podcast that I would not be doing the majority of the reading. It would actually be somebody else, but I would come in at uh, specific points uh, to actually maybe read some of the poetry. But at the same time, uh, it will not be, I would say out of the hundred percent of the book, I may come in anywhere between five to 10% of the book at the most. Uh, the, uh, narrator will actually be reading the majority of the book along with some other things that I, you know, have planned that, that help really spruce it up. So I'm giving you this background and let you know that no matter what type of app you would use to listen to this book, it wouldn't compare to anything with the way that the narrator and, you know, myself would end up producing it because it's a lot involved with this special, very special book. And see, and I want to tell you something else. And I've said this in, in times past. See, every book, uh, it, when it comes to audio or uh, mostly now, uh, that I think about and, and I've actually shared this, uh, with a woman some years ago and I'm sure she, would you remember? Well, I think I shared it with a couple of, but, <laughs> but the whole point is it was a conversation I was having and I told them, you know, I told her and, and I told another her or whatever that see, once I start, you know, tuning in to somebody's voice, even their personality, even uh, their own creative works in this area of that work, the book just starts writing according to almost like I said, their whole skill set. And it's no simple thing for me to take, uh, what I've already kind of like designed just for this person to fit this mode or whatever for me to actually move it to somebody else. It's not that it's impossible, but I'm just letting you know that's the way that I think. And yet at the same time, as I had I mentioned uh, on one of them, is that still all hope is not lost because whoever I end up, you know, uh, analyzing. And when I say analyze, I mean in a good way. It's normally over a course of way more than weeks, months, even years at times before that right. Some people would say frequency hit in on how I'm going to do certain things, you know, like turning the radio down, uh, clearing it up where Bam, this is perfect. And this is what I know what I'm going to do. So with that being said, there's really, you know, a variety of people I could end up using as a narrator or what have you. But when it's a book like this, uh, you can believe that preparation was months in the making and, um, and really, uh, here lately, uh, years. But here's the point. I want to assure you, and you will be able to see it for yourself. As I said, proof is in the pudding. Uh, you will see some of my best, once again, proofreading techniques, uh, used before I upload any chapters. I said right now, I'm actually trying to proofread each chapter, <laughs> uh, uh, three times. Okay. All right. And yet I even have uh, more of the writings of the book still in my research notebook that I still haven't even put on the computer yet. So the book will, you know, uh, be finished at least, you know, by time graduation time or what have you uh, with everything else that's going to be involved. Uh, as I said, again, could I get it done uh, by the end of the year? 
Uh, yes, I could if, if I really wanted to. And uh, as I said before, it's it's not important, uh, but I could, you know. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just still continue to put, you know, a chapter. And, you know, each chapter, I, I'm just letting you know, it. Uh, most chapters are probably about uh, a thousand, you know, uh, words long or what have you. And, uh, this book, uh, will be, uh, uh, probably, it may be a full blown novel or whatever. Um, I actually wanted to, uh, keep it towards, uh, anywhere between 40,000 words. Uh, but the more and more, like I said, I get the writing and my brain get the going. I said, boy, I could easily just make this book at least a hundred thousand words if I wanted to. But then it actually, kind of goes into another area of why I don't want it to be a hundred thousand words. So the whole point is, who knows, it may already be another book two coming for this or what have you. But as you can see, I'm, I'm very excited about writing this book. As I said, I've already started and BookNet is going to be a way for you to even see some of my thoughts because in some of these, uh, pages, it won't be many. But you will actually see that in the beginning, at least some spots are not filled in, uh, because that's actually pertaining to, uh, my, um, partner or narrator so that you'll, you'll see how already my, my brain gets to thinking in these areas. Okay. So you'll be able to see my process and you'll get to enjoy a good read, uh, whether you, uh, get the audio book or not. I just really do believe you read each chapter of this book and you get through to the end. Like I already told you, I'm going to at least put 10 chapters up. But if you're feeling very, very good and very, very enjoying it, you know, uh, and want to uh, share with others, then I most likely just keep writing it. You know, I'll just keep writing it and um, you'll see how it goes. And, uh, you will be able to also uh, look forward to when the audiobook process uh, is finished as well. Okay? Well, thank you for always, um, over the years, uh, uh, sticking with the uh, pockbooks.com website, uh, sticking with the Perceptive Readers uh, podcast, sharing it with people you know, and um also uh I just thought I'd let you know people you know without pulling their leg as the expression goes have uh, you know more times than I can think now really said in all sincerity how much they do value the books that I've written over the years the uh, podcast uh, that I've actually put, uh, put out over the years and everything. So with that being said, I just want to, again, thank you as well for sharing. It's so, you know, it's so helpful and important. And I can't right now, like I said, uh, thank you enough, but I do want to thank you. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality. <laughs>